Okay, so let's look at this problem. It says that the sum, I'm going to underline stuff as I go, right? That means I'm going to add stuff. What are we going to add? Well, it says the sum of three times a number. That's this first number is three times a number. Well, they're not telling us what the number is, so I'm going to write let n equal a number. So we're going to define our variable n as the number. So 3 times a number is just 3 times n. Okay, so we find the sum of 3 times a number and that number, so the same number n, added to 5. All right, well, there we can just write n plus 5. So we're finding the sum of these two things. Let's just write this down. 3n plus n plus 5. And I put the n plus 5 in parentheses to remind myself that that's our second num our second term or that we're given in the uh, written uh, form of this question. Next it says, well, that this is equal to, all right, I'm going to say it, it's equal to 33. And I tell us that right here. Write an equation to find the number. Great, we do that. We do that already. Then solve the number. All right, well, 3n, since we're adding one group of n plus 5, we don't need our parentheses. There's nothing to distribute. I mean, you could distribute, excuse me, the 1. 1 times n is 1n, and 1 times 5 is 5, but there's no need to write that step out. Now we have 3n plus n. Well, that makes 4n's plus 5 is 33. Then we subtract 5 from both sides, and we get 4 times n is 28. Well, to solve, to finish, we divide both sides by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 28 divided by 4 is 7. So n equals 7. All right, hope this helped.